you are the light of the world. Those are the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter five. And as we talk about reaching the lost, reaching one more, what does it look like to be a light? Now, it might not surprise you that I think Jesus is actually the best example of this. He declares his purpose in John chapter 10, verse 10, when he says, I have come to bring life and have it abundantly. Now, if that's his purpose, then as followers of Jesus, it would make sense that it would be our purpose too, right? Now, what does it look like to bring life to those around you? Now, in the story that was shared this past week, it looked like being a good friend, a friend that goes the extra mile to make sure that their needs are met, even if it meant going through a roof. So what about you? How are you bringing life to those in your circle, the relationships that are in your life? Is it the words you say? Is it your actions? Do you notice the needs around you? Do you see the world like Jesus sees the world? See, in John chapter 10, verse 10, before Jesus declares his purpose, he makes it clear the purpose of the enemy. When he says this, he says, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Now, the enemy is powerful enough to cause us, uh, to tempt us, I should say, to take our eyes off of Jesus to the point that these things um, are evident. The steal, the killing, the destroying are evident in your life. Now, you might be thinking, Chris, I don't, I don't steal. I'm certainly not a murderer, okay? I'm not destroying anything, but the reality is when we don't bring life with our words and with our actions, we're bringing something. And if it's not life, it, it's death. For instance, like if I don't water the plants because I just plain forgot, it wasn't intentional, I just forgot, what are they gonna do? They're, they're gonna die. That doesn't mean I went out with some clippers and destroyed them, all right? I certainly didn't didn't bring life though. And when I didn't bring life, the obvious conclusion was was that they were gonna die. See, Jesus, he gives us a huge responsibility that we, the church, both both locally up and down the 99 corridor, and Tigard, Mac, and Newburgh, and also the church worldwide, the capital C Church, is to continue the purpose that Jesus established years ago by bringing life and light to this world. Church, let me just say, I'm so thankful that we get to do that together.